I don't think Jesus was just talking about small group prayer meetings when he said, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I will be with you. This comes at the end of a long passage about conflict in the church. I have the privilege of working with Irvin Stutzman and six others on the cabinet. We come from very different places and bring different experiences, and we also, on some things, have different perspectives. But we share a love for Jesus and for the church. On this team, we have worked hard together. We pray with each other, and we've prayed for each other. We have learned each other's stories, and in some cases, visited each other's childhood homes. We've come to respect each other and to trust each other. We value the gifts each person brings. Sometimes we misunderstand each other, but we have come to love each other as brothers and sisters. And this makes it possible for us to have hard conversations from time to time with each other. During some of our meetings, we have spent an hour or more on, in conversation on one of the most contentious and difficult issues facing us this t- at this time. And that is the issue of the church and sexual orientation. One time, we talked with each other simply about how we want to talk together. We spent time thinking about how we want to speak carefully and listen respectfully and develop guidelines for confidentiality. Another time, we shared stories about personal experiences and relationships, a college roommate or a family member who is gay. We listened to each other with care and respect and shared openly and honestly. There was, these were stories of pain and brokenness and also hope. We were on holy ground together. Another time, we shared with each other scripture passages or biblical themes that are important to each of us as we reflect on this difficult issue. On this matter, we agree on some important things, and we disagree on other things. We'll keep talking, but there's lots of other vital work we are doing together. We continue to be church together. I think we're closer as a team because of these conversations. We're learning from each other, and we're growing together. And we're discovering that, in fact, Jesus really is with us when we meet in his name. These are the kind of conversations that we hope are happening all over the church, where there are differences on all kinds of issues. We want to be a community that is gathered together by the love of Jesus, a Christian community that is quick to listen, that speaks the truth in love, and that deals with differences in a Christ-like manner. How are you becoming part of that kind of a community?